once you hit the post Labor Day period, this race really becomes less a national referendum and more a contest in 12 unique battleground states. The Clinton folks feel good about some of the more diverse battlegrounds, so Colorado, Virginia, the place where the Clinton folks think, think they're perhaps a bit weaker are those Rust Belt states, places like Ohio and Pennsylvania. So that's really where you'll see them try to uh, improve their standing, particularly with uh, suburban women outside of places like Cleveland or Columbus or Pittsburgh who may be turned off by Trump's rhetoric. Hillary Clinton's goal is to press her case that Donald Trump is unfit to be president. That's really emerged as her main line of attack against him. And she wants to make this election more of a referendum on him than a referendum on her. That's because, you know, poll after poll shows that Americans really don't like her. They just like him less. So she's trying to work that uh, hatred differential at her advantage. Trump has been going through this evolution over the last couple of weeks where he's basically shaken up his top campaign leadership. He is taking a much more scripted approach to campaigning than he has for most of the rest of his time as a presidential candidate. And he's doing some very overt outreach to minority voters. And the question for the Trump campaign going forward is whether this is something he's going to be able to sustain or something he even wants to sustain. This really goes against everything that we know that Donald Trump has enjoyed about being a candidate. I think the key for him is that he is seeing results in the polling that show that since he has taken this more scripted approach, he is doing better. And as long as his advisors can keep putting that in front of him, they have a better chance of keeping him on message. The biggest disadvantage that Trump has in the election is that his path to 270 electoral votes is very narrow. He has to win a couple of key states. He has to win Florida. He likely has to win Pennsylvania. And then he also has to try to make up ground elsewhere, probably in the Midwest, in states like Michigan and Wisconsin that have traditionally voted Democratic. So this is not an easy lift for him. But we should know in October how this is shaking out. If he's not able to catch up in these battleground states, it's very hard to see how he could overtake Clinton, even if the national numbers look tight.